working with the base here um, using really the same principles as I did on the column, namely that you use um, a means to check that the ways here are in alignment with the dovetails and of course are parallel to one another. So a combination of using precision pins here, here and here with the micrometer reading across like this. Um, and then um, of course the straight edge on the ways like this. Then of course uh, to bridge across in some formal way. For instance like this and running an indicator up and down to check for that the planes are, are equal. And also with the with the level of course here running up and down. See. However, there is also one more thing here uh, that can help you since um, in reality I can't use this surface as, um, as a reference plane. I could have uh, and have miked at several points, uh, but I didn't take the um, let's say the didn't take the opportunity or too lazy to, to plane this all uh, down, test it and uh, drew it to well to what well to the ways uh, could have done the bottom. I mean. Uh, if this was machined a little bit more accurately, I could use that as a reference. But I can use this instead now as a reference and work from there. And the fact that you have this flat area, I mean that bridges over to the same ways here, is of course uh, an advantage and that uh, to use that advantage of course you, you would want to scrape the ways flat to that also the same. Plane. And now you have the, these two in the same planes, so they should not be able to deviate like this or like this. So you do this test and scrape these flats then, of course then, I mean, do you just carry on here? And you, in, of course, ensure parallelism with the dovetails by measuring with the pins. So, continuing on the flat way. I've switched to using a camelback as you can see. I sometimes find this easier to to hold, especially to to find the the balance points. We can see this way is also starting to come in even up here so a bit more work here to get it within here and plus the sides here at least we're done, done, done with the rough scraping when we have that in there's no point in doing anything finer work until you have these areas in and then the next cycle I'm getting a little bit better over here, not losing it really, but, and then a little bit better over here. So uh, keep on the same way. I'm using the bias at the moment, so uh, with circles, roughing technique. rounding off a little bit I'm rounding off so I don't touch the edges in here also use the hand scraper to just take out relieve this a little bit
just take one pass like this just to ensure if it goes a little bit down there I'm not afraid of that see now gone are all the flaking marks so to get this right I had to go beyond that that doesn't matter because we will make them on the opposite the non-exposed side instead so now it's also much smoother and this is after that cycle so I still am stubbornly not getting that or this but since I'm roughing anyway I don't think I'll change technique but of course I can now measure how much uh, there is left there just to know and the way I'm doing that is just to use the, the um, indicator as a repeatometer sort of following itself on the flat there and then onto the unknown area so to speak so I'm just trying to follow Yeah, it's actually two, three, four, five hundreds going over there. So I think the best approach here would be like uh, I'm trying now to do, namely to establish the, that these this is all uh, one plane. I know that it's lower here, so in the end that I will have to take it down. Uh, just to ensure that I don't have too much deviation from or that uh, as much as possible um adherence to the original dovetail uh i expect to be a uh, to have to to alter it a little bit but not much um and then of course mic it with the um, with the pins while i'm doing this so at least here uh, established that these two are covering uh, totally and then see whether when you test it longitudinally or in that direction that you have to do any correction. So now I'm starting to get the good hit over here. And I will take the long straight edge and bridge across here. And then, of course, I expect that uh, there will be all the contact at the, at the very end now, because it'll be low here and then only touching here and there. And then I'll continue scraping from this end on. The, and then downwards and don't touch here of course until it all then blends in and i have already established up here that it's it's um, too wide so getting it lower here and here will of course then also then narrow it so i also then scraped a little bit on the dovetails but established that they these were quite okay also by by trying to measure them um before i started so I think that's on the right track. I think this also has been uh, the better way since I have this opening here that I can start with. So I know that these are now in the same plane, although they have to be lowered and then this will fall in also. So I'm uh, closing in, at least nearing finish. First started off being low here although this was not a necessity to bring this area or rather these areas here down to the same plane or the same level as these ones uh, it would have been a little bit awkward but it could be ra be a little bit lower than here but for the purpose of or it's simpler this way i think to, to have the whole way as one um, long way so i'm finally satisfied with how the prints are coming along or have, that I have obtained and um, this was not an easy undertaking undertaking really because the ways were well they were flat to themselves at least the top of the ways on top of the, of the flaking they have done and the, the grinding sorry the the milling but to get them uh, in 
plane with this or rather get this in plane with the ways because these were tilting downwards in addition they were not evenly tilting downwards so that the uh, measurement of the dovetails here with pins here did not match up so there were several things to correct and uh, since there were no um, real references uh, put, it as, put it this way if I would have done this another, t uh, another time a second time I know from before how much it was um, then I would have made these as references or made them better to function as references also as they were they were I think milled in two operations really and they weren't flat to one another so weren't useful so um, I had to figure out but since this area here is open and uh, although these could have been dealt with two se in separate ways from the ways themselves I wanted to have them in the same plane and that would could function then also as a bridge across with the just use this for simplicity with a, a straight edge that fits like two or three times the width of this as a means to to establish a plane that they are planer and also use them to for these uh, ways over here of course this way I mean <laughs> first establishing a flat this way like that and then both ways here so that this will be tilting downwards or to the point that I get the pin measurement here equal all this and then start spotting and that has taken some time, actually considerable time, to, to get it right. So I'm finished with uh, scraping the base and uh, satisfied with the results. It's within uh, one hundredth of a millimeter all over. Uh, I can explain a little bit. Column, base, sorry, uh, base for the column and uh, the saddle like this the column sits here bolted down dull tail relief area in the middle from the top looking like this with the waist of course here and the, the area for the column back here a yeah, little bit exaggerated that way but anyway and then there is a relief uh, like this so uh, I did not know really if that could be trusted as a reference but that would have been the easiest it was rough mid and it was a step here so I didn't really trust it but anyway uh, meaning that if I that reference you can you can miking down no uh, yeah measuring down to this of course to the ways but I used primarily the areas down here and then establishing that these two back here were in the same plane by bridging across with the straight edge and getting it to cover all over like this both in in that way I mean that they are in plane like this and uh, seen from this way that it covers all over here and then I extended um, that measurement to one to both sides so to speak um, that was done with the straight edge of course here measuring spotting with the um, um, running an indicator usual way from this side over to here of course with running the saddle over here with the level on top back and forth um, and of course uh, the the pin measurements here but since this is a compound measurement you don't know if uh, if you're not certain about these and these the relationship that they are equal so you wouldn't know whether uh, the error you had here because I had something like six hundredths of a millimeter fatter reading here 
was because this was low on one side which it turned out to be also a little bit um, but anyway uh, so I didn't mess with that uh, it came in actually because of the fact that I, these were uh, lowered primarily because it was actually like this and flat but they <coughs> they lost the contact with the straight edge over here so it was about six hundredths of a millimeter here also of course it was low I had to bring it down and then a little bit like this then the measurement came in and the dovetail area here so I um, went back and forth measuring with the pins with the with the indicator on the block uh, with the straight edge here here and uh, these ways were of course then rough milled also or not rough at least milled plus they were kind of flaked on top this is now gone instead um, I could flake the underside of the saddle or a saddle riding on top, like on the side here. We'll see whether I will do that or not. The um, owner will produce, will make some oil uh, canals. Uh, preferably, he will make them like uh, I've uh, um, learned, either with like a zigzag pattern or also crossing it like that. And of course, an oil feed. Uh, to, to this system so I'm not sure if we really, really need to flake it on the, on the other side but I'm finished with the saddle I mounted the, the column on top I find that it is um, uh, around the three hundreds leaning back so a little bit uh, that is uh, on the on the very on the very top so it's uh, it's a bit of a distance so at the bottom I have an error here maybe in the something like uh, five thousands or millimeter from the back I guess because it magnifies itself upwards of course but I am uh, I haven't mounted the head yet so I'm not sure but I can expect that this will actually draw it a little bit forward so we'll see uh, when the weight of the head is um, is brought into action here at least we have then managed to get it almost flat here uh, or standing upright almost uh, exactly as it shall and without the use of these shims that the owner had uh, like uh, uh, was in the region of um, 25 hundredths of a millimeter which is pretty much